ladies and gentlemen, would you please take your seats? Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Will you kindly take your seats? I know the room is buzzing and there's lots of energy here, but we have to get started. And we're constrained to start because I was given an indecent suggestion just now from one Mr. Mervyn Chisholm, who told me that in the absence of the entertainers, I could sing. That immediately galvanized me to get to this lectern and to start this evening's proceedings because that could not happen. We have decent people here, we have respectable people, and I would not want them to call the authorities saying I'm impersonating a singer. So please, everyone, take your seats. Please, please take your seats now for me. We have a long evening ahead. But we are hoping that you will have fun, that it will be wonderful this evening. Wow, this is what three, three, about 300 really fine looking people look like. Clap yourselves. This is wonderful. Arden. Arden is a force, you know. Arden is, I don't know about other schools, but here at Arden, when you come, when you, when you actually attend Arden, it's like you have done something significant already with your lives. Isn't that so? And we, I was talking to Jacqueline Barnett, and she says, it is amazing. Well, her husband is really just immersed in the Arden, everything about Arden. So she says, it's amazing. You all know each other. You remember when you left? You're just all so taken with the school. She finds it fascinating. Clap yourselves. You are great. Arden is great. And I'm just waiting on my cue from our, our Vilma. Can I go right ahead now? She's giving me the hold on sign. So I'll tell you a little story about myself. Homecoming is something I, I'm sure you all know, and it happens to you. Homecoming is a time of reflection, isn't that so? You think about the things you liked about Arden and your friends, and you, you just start to think about it. But I have to tell you my story. Now, in my family, very small family, we went to Central Branch and then to Arden. My cousin, some of you may know, Yvonne Senior, then Marilyn, and then my sister, Aline, who spent three years before she went to St. Andrew Technical. Anyway, when I heard I, was, I passed for Arden, I was delighted. And I'm a literature girl, so I thought of Latin as something I knew that I would love. Folks, I'm telling you, I saw myself brimming with Latin. I saw, I'm, I'm telling you. So anyway, on the first day of Latin, I was very pleased. I had my red approach to Latin book. How many people remember the approach to Latin book? Of course. And... The teacher came. I don't know if it still happens, but when the teacher enters the class, every, the chick will stand, right? So the Latin teacher came in. I know I said to myself, they know she's so young and Latin so old. But anyway, that is me. So she came in and she said, Salvete discipuli. So I kept my eye on the teacher, but I turned to my neighbor to say, isn't it exciting? But she looked at me immediately, and obviously she's a lady who knows how to take charge of troublemakers. So she said, you girl, what do you think I just said? Well, folks, let me tell you. I took a moment to smile benignly at the teacher as though you're so sensible. And then I looked encouragingly at my fellow students saying, your time will come to shine. And I looked at her and said, good morning, disciples. <laughs> well, folks, I, have, I, I don't have to tell you that my Latin, my promising Latin career went down, went decidedly south from there. And I must tell you, by the end of the year, I had achieved the wonderful result of tearing out all the pages out of my Latin book because they never served me. It is the first time I think that a subject has failed a student. It's terrible. Anyway, 
I am once again trying to get my cue. I was only just entertaining you. Is Miss Vilma there to tell me if I could? Vilma, can I start now? Oh, she's giving me the all clear. So, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Marilyn Bennett. And once again, I implore you, do not notice that thing about class of 72. Six years ago, they were to clear up this um, mistake. And um, Audrey, Chin will, Audrey Johnson Chin will remember that that was the year I came to Arden. <laughs> well, in keeping with all these um, government things, nothing ever goes quickly in government circles, so it's still there. But I also remember quite clearly that there were 72 children in my class. <laughs> so, so folks, distinguished members of the Board of Governors, distinguished past principal and the Hall of Famer, Mrs. Esther Tyson, president of all the alumni chapters, our energetic and vivacious Ms. Nadine, principal, Ms. Nadine Malloy, management, her management team, the teaching faculty, ancillary teams, inductees to the Hall of Fame spread all over this room, Past Hall of Famers, would you, would you wave past Hall of Famers? Where are they? Give them a round of applause. Appreciate our Hall of Famers. Nice to see you all. Senior students here tonight representing the over 2,000 strong student body, student population. Where are these students? Our wonderful students. Give them a round of applause, please. Where are they? Young people, please stand and be recognized because you are, the, you, you are responsible for bringing down the average age here tonight. So we're very pleased to have you. <laughs> and let me tell you something. Mr. Duane Thomas, my good friend, who, though he's class of, uh, what is Duane? Class of some recent time anyway. Duane looked on Wednesday and said to me, Marilyn, what impressed me is the number of students that have come out. I said, Duane, put on your glasses. Those are the old people in uniform. <laughs> so I'm happy to say that tonight, Duane has his glasses repaired and is now here. OK, and these impressive students that I just mentioned, who embody the pride and spirit of our Optima traditions, and now are the knights from abroad, from home and abroad, and their guests, we are delighted to have you at homecoming 2023 to mark the 96th birthday of our beloved Arden High School. So please clap the old girl. 96, four years away from her first century. Mark, I feel like her, but anyway. So at homecoming this year, we have proud Ardenites from the 1950s through to well, this year, because graduation is tomorrow. We have um, proud Ardenites here who have excelled in foreign shores. We have people from Florida, Atlanta, New York, Washington, DC, Texas, Canada. Have I left anyone out? Any? Oh, yes. We have the illustrious Dr. Marvin Reed from St. Mary, which, is, which, which has now become an international chapter. So, the international contingent has brought such an enriching energy to the homecoming celebrations. To you, we say hoot hoot. Thank you so much for being here. And you know Jamaicans love foreign. I'm pleased to welcome everyone to the 2023 Arden Alumni Hall of Fame and Homecoming Banquet. Tonight is all about our alumni, but there is something very important that I have to tell you. Folks, Arden is a game-changing school, you know. Do not be misled by what everybody else is doing. They come to us to get our ideas. So there is a very important and game-changing project conceived by the Arden Alumni Foundation, and that is the building of the Arden Wellness Center. You will hear much more about this groundbreaking initiative from Mrs. Flo Darby, Hall of Famer, Chairman of the Foundation. But I want to tell you that the screens on either side of this uh, podium will be looping 
information and images of this project, and you're going to be asked to make donations. But I, Paul, would you kindly help me and explain by explaining to everyone what you, we, they, we, we need them to do? Clap, Paul. Good evening, everyone. We have engaged the students from Arden with the uh, technology. So they've brought, uh, we've got the uh, uh, computers, the tablets. For those of you who have your credit card here tonight, <laughs> they'll be circulating the room and there are pledges that you can make. There'll be a, a pledge form, but will be on the tablet as well. Say you would like, like to make a pledge and um, it mustn't be any longer than uh, three to six months because we're going to need all the funds to bring this 60 million into focus. We have 60 million, and you'll hear more about it, but you'll, the, the students will be circulating with the tablets, and they'll be asking you to make your pledge or your contribution or trans, your e-transfers right to the foundation bank account. I tell you about this groundbreaking suggestion. Not only is the Wellness Center a groundbreaking initiative, but this is a groundbreaking suggestion. Now, may I tell you, Paul, that I think that the front rows could just be responsible for the 60 million, and then you get to some other millions from the back. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, really, we're, you're invited to sit back, relax, and have an enjoyable memory-making evening. And, of course, time permitting, Vilma wants all of us to dance to the music of Mr. Sean Pinnock until the hotel throws us out. So, without further ado, as is our custom at Arden and we do so now, we put God first. I'm pleased to invite Dr. Henley Morgan, Hall of Famer and first chairman of the Hall of Fame committee to proclaim blessings upon our function, our Hall of Famers and upon the meal in which we will partake. Please, Dr. Morgan, please. But at your age, you get a pass. <laughs> Please stand with me for blessings. Eternal Father, bless our land. Land you love. Teach us how to love Jamaica. Bless the institutions called to build a more perfect nation. Continue to bless Arden High School as you have from its founding to the present day. Bless the Arden Alumni Association as it continues to fan Arden's glorious flame. Bless this event as we reminisce and celebrate and recommit. Bless the meal to our bodies and our bodies to your service. Amen and amen. We have been well prayed for. Give him a round of applause, please. Thank you, Dr. Henley. Thank you so much. Okay, folks, this homecoming and the Hall of Fame banquet is staged every five years, but had to be pushed back, as you know, due to the pandemic. So we are one year out of step, 95 in 2022, and this year's 96th year that Arden is in existence. So we will have the 100th, the, the next homecoming will be for Arden's 100th birthday cent century in four years' time. We are pleased to recognize the Herculean efforts of the members of the 2023 Homecoming Organization team, led by Jamaican chapter president, Jermaine Heslop, and the wider alumni chapters who could only meet virtually to make Homecoming 2023 a reality. We want to recognize Mrs. Vilma MacDonald, the director of the Foundation Hall of Famer, and her team who had point responsibility for this banquet. Thank you so much, Vilma and team. Well, as I, I'm not sure if I told you, but the official welcome to this function will be done by our dear president, who tells me he left school in 2001. 
Well, it seems to me that he, the moment he left school, he went into the um, presidency of the Arden Alumni Association. And he, like these um, fascist people, are thinking of making himself president for life. Anyway, please welcome the body and president for life, Jermaine Heslop. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> Members of the Board of Governors of Arden High School, Principal Nadine Malloy, all the Vice Principals, distinguished Hall of Famers, Chapter Presidents, all members of the Alumni Association, whether you're joining in person, and I'm happy to report online, Good evening. On behalf of the executive of the Arden Alumni Association, as well as the homecoming 2023 planning committee, I would like to welcome everyone to this evening's banquet. I'm grateful for all persons who helped to make the homecoming celebrations over the last four days, one that is memorable. Tonight is our signature event, a special occasion, the Hall of Fame banquet. This is a time when we will recognize outstanding past students of Arden High School who have made significant contributions to his or her profession community or society, especially to Arden and the Arden Alumni Association. I'm delighted to learn of the overwhelming support for this year's Hall of Fame banquet. But at this time, I would like members of the executive of the Arden Alumni Association as well as members of the Homecoming Planning Committee, if you could stand at this moment. And everyone, please give them a round of applause for their teamwork, for their flexibility, and for their resilience that they have displayed over the last two years. It has been a pleasure working with these persons. And tonight, here we are at this capstone event. I would like to also make special mention of our homecoming administrator, Ms. Dejanay Malcolm, past student and past cadet of Arden High School, who provided much needed administrative assistance to the planning committee over the last two months. And I believe Ms. Malcolm is on the outside at the reception area. Nevertheless, let's um, join me in acknowledging Ms. Malcolm by giving her a round of applause. This year, our theme has been Stronger Together, Optima Forever. This represents the commitment of the Arden Alumni Association to continue building lasting relationships, working as one body, one Arden, to achieve the best possible outcome for our alma mater. It is a fact that we are past students working together to build Arden. As past students, we are to always be reminded that our association exists for the students of Arden. The networking and celebrations are only secondary. It is this central mission that motivates us as a body to the extent that even in moments when opinions differ, we can be guided that whatever the outcome after deliberations, the students must be priority. I am happy to announce tonight that we have few of our students who are future leaders present with us this evening as ushers. I would like to ask them to stand and 
be specially recognized, and I know that they are still busy, so please help me to give a round of applause to our students who are serving tonight as ushers. I want to say to our students that as you join us and interact with us tonight, I want to leave you with this line from our school motto, ye valiant youth arise and join life's glorious fray. I would also like to extend to our students, many of whom are in the final years of their high school careers, to become active participants of the Arden Alumni Association. For I am confident that there is talent and greatness resident in each of these students, which can be unearthed by your service through the Arden Alumni Association. And so it will be a great pleasure to see one of those students standing in my positions because I do not intend to be president for life. <laughs> and so it will give me great pleasure to see one of these past students in a few years from now standing in this position doing the official welcome. Wouldn't that be great to see? And so, as we get ready to pull the curtains down on homecoming 2023 tomorrow, not tonight, um, let us leave with a resolve to serve our school. And so my charge to everyone tonight is to get involved, make a difference in the life of a student. And remember our school motto, Deo Duque Quare Optima, with God as guide, seek the best. And how could I forget our esteemed master of ceremonies, who has been doing this job, I don't know how many years, but I hear it, it has been longer than I was born. <laughs> so, Don't worry, Marilyn. You know I was just born yesterday, right? And so uh, I would like to congratulate um, our Master of Ceremonies, Marilyn. She does an excellent job. And to all persons who comprise the subcommittee, thank you. So welcome, everyone. And I hope that, and I know that you will enjoy tonight's presentations. Bless you. Let me just tell you folks, a lie is a lie whether it's official or not. <laughs> if you're a president, prime minister, or anybody and you tell a lie, that's what it is. And remember one thing, those who want to seek um, positions for life always claim nothing go like that. <laughs> it is a time, time um, proven tactic. So thank you again, Jermaine, President for Life, as, um, aspirant. Okay, folks. Tonight, we will hear from our overseas chapters in Florida, Toronto, Atlanta, and New York. So I am going to invite the Arden, Arden representatives from these various chapters, and I will start with Miss Georgia Liu from the Florida chapter. Where is Georgia? Oh, here she is. Please give her a round of applause. She's standing in for Rohan. So thank you so much. And a more enthusiastic round of applause. Thank you, Georgia. Hello, everyone. Looking beautiful, beautiful, beautiful tonight. It's an honor to be here with everyone and all the distinguished guests and members. As always, we're here to serve Arden. I'm representing Rohan Samuels, who is the president of the Florida chapter. So I don't have that big speech that he would have given you, but that's maybe a good thing. <laughs> Just wanna say a shout out from the Florida team. Uh, we're excited to be here. We're excited to push the progress for the school, for the students, whether it's the building fund, which we are 100% behind for the wellness center and many other projects that we're looking forward to helping with this um, next coming years. 
Thank you for having us. Florida, really looking forward to serving the community and Arden as a whole. Thanks. Please, another round of applause for class of 84, Georgia Lou. And I urge you folks, please get the, their contact numbers from these people so that when you travel, you can be in contact with them. Maybe you get a chance to attend one of their meetings. And now representing the Toronto chapter, the president, Denzel Davis. Please give him a round of applause. So I was in a meeting the, today with the foundation, and um, at that time, shortly, somewhere in the middle of it, a gentleman come in and said, where the short man day? <laughs> he wasn't speaking about me, but the president, the president called my name. John, I, I, he needs counseling, he needs counseling, because I'm not short, I'm just a little challenged. I bring you greetings from Toronto. And since I just have a short time, all protocols observed. Now, this evening I brought along a guest. Uh, he's sitting at my table. His name is Raphael Robinson. Raphael is that kind of guy who, when you need a trip from Bog Walk to KPH, he doesn't even think about it. He's on it. If you need a trip from Kingston to Montego Bay, Raphael takes so little to make the trip for you. And if you need a trip around the country, Raphael will take vacation to make sure that you are comfortable, you're happy with your vacation. That's a guy who just, just gives and gives. He's part of the extended family. So that picture right there, that's a picture of Toronto. We keep giving and giving and giving to Arden, and that will never stop. So, Mr. President, those short-term trips, those short-term pro programs, that trip from Bogwalk to KPH, we will stand with you. The principal, Ms. Malloy, you gotta mention, you gotta be careful how you pronounce her name, you know. Not Malloy, not Molly. You have to say Malloy. We will lockstep with you in those medium-term programs. Now, guys, every four, I think, well, maybe we're going four years now, but it's, it's been a while that I've been doing a program with our Ardenites for every Sunday, probably 48 Sundays out of the year. And one of, one of the critical things in these themes is what I see, what I hear, or what I experience. And those are, the, those are the things that have kept me going. And while leaving the airport last Friday, not this one, the one before, I always take a look around as to what is in my view. And I walk down the corridor. You know that long corridor when you leave the, the, the aircraft and you're coming down, everybody rushing to get to immigration. So one of the, one of the things I saw, it says, let this year be uh, something like, let this year may be the, the year things happen. And I'm saying, wow, this one caught my eye. What is it that is going to happen in this week that ties in with this message? And for the whole week, we've been working on this thing, the wellness center. And I said, wow, that's it. And so guys, my Arden family, this is a long trip, the one around Jamaica. This is where I want you to fall in love with Arden again. And let's build this thing. Thank you. Thank you. Another round of applause for this man with his second time falling in love. Isn't it awesome? Love is always good the second time around. That's what the song says. And now, thank you so much, Denzel. And from the Atlanta chapter, I invite Mr. Uton Henry, class of 81, to speak. Give him a round of applause, please. Thank you. 
Well, Denzel, we were supposed to only do a minute. He took most of Atlanta's time, so I'm going to be brief. Greetings to all here today, and it gives me great pleasure to see a room full of my fellow Ardenites, friends and family. It's, it's, it's good. Um, hopefully we can do this again and bigger in another four to five years. Register early. My name is Yutan Henry. I'm the president of the Atlanta chapter. And again, in my one minute that I have on stage, I'll give you a quick summary of who we are. For those of you who didn't know, the Atlanta chapter... <laughs> Yeah, so the Atlanta chapter is the latest addition to the alumni group. We were born in 2019. And for those of you who are in Atlanta, you remember we had something called the reunion of all reunions. Yeah. And I have uh, seen some of our founding members here. I don't want to go through all the names because I might leave out a few people, but they're here in the room and we've got to lift our hat to them. And these are the people who came together and said, hey, you guys are in Atlanta, we need to form a chapter. And we made it happen. One of Atlanta's distinguished accomplishments that I'll share with you tonight is the Im implementation of a scholarship program that we have. And we're talking about shaping the hearts and the minds of the young, one student at a time. We went as overachievers and we did two students. The intent, though, is to do as many students as we can. And what we are doing is giving them a full scholarship, everything paid from grade 8 to 11. Uh, I said form the last time, and I'm sure. Uh, okay. From grade 8 to grade 11, all expenses paid. Atlanta is saying to them, we're going to help you out. Now, you don't have to be the brightest student, but you need to be a bright student with a passion for learning. Yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, I won't, I won't stay here for too long again, Denzel stole my time, but I want to present to you my, my team members, friends and family from Atlanta, the Atlanta chapter sitting over there on about three tables, where you guys got? So, so we, came, we came in force. And again, Denzel mentioned the Wellness Center. And uh, Mrs. Malloy mentioned, we spoke about that a couple of days ago, guys. That's going to be our focus. So for everyone here, we're probably all going to end by saying, let us support the Wellness Center. Let's build that building and be proud of what we do in a short period of time. <laughs> Greetings from the Atlanta chapter, and um, enjoy yourself here. So we decided strategically to put all the rowdy people over that side, <laughs> as you can see. It's wonderful to see such a contingent from Atlanta. That's beautiful. My cousin Yvonne lives in Atlanta. I must give you her information so you can contact her. Wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got to hurry it up now. And the New York chapter, Horace Lynch. Let's invite Horace Lynch. Here, oh, here he is to address us in one minute. Wink, wink. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I, I am Horace Lynch. I'm here representing the best city and the best chapter in the world. New York, Big Apple. Uh, I'm sure there are no more New Yorkers here. Um, and so for our uh, New York chapter, we continue to support Arden High School through scholarships, um, offering scholarships to students. We have uh, donated equipment and so on and so forth. Um, we are elated to be here, to see this gathering, and um, we will continue to lend our support to our school, to the administration. Thank you very much. Appreciate all. Amazing. New York understands time management. Lovely. Give them a round of applause, please. And as we close this chapter, thank you so much, Horace, and all the other 
chapter presidents. It was really great to have you. And let me just take a quick sweep of the room. New York, hands waving and make some noise. They're hungry. Uh, Atlanta, please, hands. Don't feed those. No sugar. Florida. And Canada. Beautiful. And now, ladies and gentlemen, um, we, we, as we reflect on our alumni population here and abroad, we also, oh, Jamaica was represented by the president who spoke earlier. These are the overseas chapters. I'm so sorry that our Jamaicans need to be exported. Please understand that um, Jermaine Ripper, but oh, you mean I'm to call to ask you to show his, oh, I'm so sorry, me, my bad. Jamaica, are you, anyone from Jamaica in the room? See, I was trying to um, practice noise control. But it's wonderful to see the Jamaicans from here and abroad. All right, folks, as we reflect on our alumni population here and abroad, we remember Ardenites, faculty, family members, and others near and dear to us who have gone on ahead. I will ask you to join in a minute of sil rem silence for, in remembrance of our beloved who walked with us on this life journey. The memorial candle will be lit by a student. So I invite that student to light the memorial candle. And we remember Hall of Famer, since last we met, Hall of Famer Winsome Miller, faculty members. Uh, Nadine, please remind me of the young man that whose funeral is yesterday. Reese Norton Fisher. Reese Norton Fisher. We remember Paulette Gordon Bromfield and various others. Manifa's mom left us two months ago, so I'm going to ask you to join us in a minute of silence. Please have the candle lit for me. A student will light the candle, thank you. And I ask you to just let us stand and a minute silent. Jermaine, please time the minute. Don't stand yet, please, until the candle is lit. You have pretty light. Okay, wonderful. Manifa, the candle. Manifa, see the matches there? Ladies and gentlemen, Manifa is here and she will light the candle. As I just told you, her mom left us two months ago and yet she's here today to entertain us for a while. She's being coached by one of the cadet persons here today. Please stand so that we can have a minute of silence. Um, German, please time this activity for us. Thank you. Please, is the candle lit? Let the time commence. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Thank you, Manifa, thank you. Nathaniel, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, may their souls rest in peace and light perpetual shine on them. Tonight we have something new in store for you and the cadets who have been on a journey at Arden are celebrating 50 wonderful years. We anxiously wait to hear about those glorious years and all their achievements to date. So let's welcome to this podium and to this lectern, Lieutenant Colonel Ricardo Williams and 
Major Ricardo Blackwood. I'm not sure if they have somebody else to substitute, but right now, just give them a round of applause. And we will have, after that, let me assure you folks that we're going to have dinner. So those who are a little grumpy, please just cheer up 15 minutes and we will be moving into dinner. One of my favorite segments. Thank you. Parade! It would, it would be lost, not lost on me if I didn't do that this evening. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> don't, don't be too scared. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. It would be remiss of me not to thank the Homecoming Committee for affording us this wonderful opportunity to share with you on this auspicious occasion the 50th anniversary of Arden High School Cadet Unit. This year, it's not just 50 for Arden High School Cadet Unit, but it's the 80th year of the Jamaica Combined Cadet Force being in existence. The Cadet Force itself has had a profound impact on several of our members number of them are with us here today. But I also want to point out that we have a number of our budding cadets who are here with us this evening. I would like you to stand and be recognized. Thank you very much. When I think about it, and I won't be long, I promise that I'll make this whole process go pretty quickly, that a boy from Waterford could come to a school as prestigious as Arden High School and could join a cadet force and despite my deviancy could have been cured of that by, you know, several individuals who are inside this room tonight. I promise that I wouldn't share a particular story with um, one of our former OCs, but it would be remiss of me not to say that after one occasion of carrying out some devilish activities, I was chased all around the eighth grade block. And when I was finally caught, cornered, he exercised some discipline. Suff suffice to say that later on, many years, I'll be able to remember those occasions and the kind of discipline and stoicism it has instilled in me and other cadets who are represented here tonight, that I didn't turn out that bad after all. Michael Clark, please don't say anything. <laughs> so, make this go quickly. I'm gonna now invite Garfield Rowe and Wayne Williams to come to the stage. Apologies. I realize that they also want me to, 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 to consider, you know, carrying out the entire ex enterprise itself. So, there are three individuals that we want to represent, that we want to recognize tonight for outstanding service to the cadet unit. Their names are Lieutenant Colonel Retired Bruce Barkley, Major Retired Errol Cyrus, and Major Retired Peter Malcolm. Could you make yourself to the face? You may come up, gentlemen. Yes. 
Stand, stand. Grow it out. I grew up, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should start with Bruce. Okay. The reason why we're going to start with Lieutenant Colonel Bruce Bartley is that even though he was not of ardent ilk, he came from Jamaica College and saw it fit to help us form our cadet unit. And I'd like to thank Colonel Barkley, who gave me some steady words when I joined the Jamaica Defense Force, a youngster from Arden myself. Colonel, thank you very much. Major Errol Cyrus, one of the, the most outstanding OCs of our unit. Again, um, uh, Major Cyrus was a very diligent individual in terms of exercising his discipline on some of our cadets. And guess what? A lot of us turned out not too bad after all. Last but not least, the gentleman that I spoke about who had his, well, let me not say what he had um, placed on me, but Peter Malcolm, Major, Reverend, thank you very much, sir, for your service to the unit. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay, at this stage, as we continue to try and make it move quickly and seamlessly this time, Wayne, and I invite Madam Principal, Dadi Malloy, to the stage. At this point in time, we'd like to recognize cadets who have given their service, not just to Arden High School Cadet Unit, but certainly globally. Our Global Citizen Award goes to Mr. Everton Hanam, and Mr. Andrew Green, please make your way to the stage. Thank you very much. This Thank you very much. In order so that we can proceed and I don't get too many people giving me the bad eye because we need to eat, let me make these next set of awards in a one -off. I'm going to call up the following persons. Leadership in the field, Master Chief Retired Yutan Henry. <laughs> Mrs. Lorraine Walters Dunn. No, all at well. Humanitarian Service Award, Captain Retired Dr. Winston Delahaye. <laughs> Dr. Yulan Grant. Mr. Donovan McPherson, please make your way to the stage. We're going to do all the awards. Lifetime Achievement Award, Mr. Orville Dorman. Master Chief, Petty Officer Retired, with Garfield Rowe. And Lieutenant Colonel Ricardo Williams. We're going to ask Ms. Lisa Robinson if you can assist us in making these final presentations. And in the midst of that, apparently they gave me an award as well. Well, thank you very much. Come to the end. As I said, I'm just trying to get the bad eyes off, but let's do it out at once. You know, as we look at these awardees up here, we have to remember that at the end of the day, that the cadet unit continues to have a profound effect on our student body going forward. 
And when we look out there to the, to the, the students who have been able to attend this occasion, to this, to this evening, what I, what I think about is their participation from start to finish in the organization. Dejanay Malcolm outside there, former cadet. We have the current Sergeant Major Tadden Pali with us today and all the rest of cadets here. The future is bright for cadeting in Arden. Dorma. You look fancy, man. Can you give me that jacket, sir? <laughs> A round of applause for all the cadet recipients of awards this evening. Thank you very much. Okay. Sit back. Thank you very much, and it rolls on. Well, I recovered from my fright. And who clapped the cadets? What a wonderful story, 50 years. And folks, how come some of you tell me that the cadets don't shine? Look at that jacket. I'm just saying, what a wonderful thing, these cadets. Anyway, it's wonderful. Now, I just want you to know that during dinner, we're coming up to dinner so we can cue the service, of course. We just, we will be entertained by Karim. Chang. Karim Chang, a young Ardenite who, well, Arden is teeming with talent, don't it? We have uh, singers and um, dancers. Jermaine is a dancer. We have singers, dancers, drama people. Oh, this school is just teeming with talent. And our faculty and our uh, management and everybody. I want to recognize a vice chairman. Our vice chairman is here. Yes, vice chairman, I know he's my friend. We had a long talk at the launch of the Wellness Center and more recently last week. So welcome, sir. Thank you so much for being here with us. Folks, did you know, while we queue the hotel, don't worry, your, your first course is on the way. So as I was telling you, during dinner, we will be entertained by Karim Chang, class of 2008. Where's Karim? Where is Karim? I'm not seeing him. But anyway, while they serve, I will tell you a little bit about Karim. Wonderful young man. Do not forget, of course, Mark, um, yeah. our, our Canadian member, Mark, and um, plea, Paul, Paul Barnett's plea for you to donate to the Wellness Center. That's very, very important. So let me tell you a bit about Karim Chang. Oh, I see the yellow jacket. Karim is here, this handsome young man is Karim Chang. He started performing at age 12 and hasn't stopped since. His passion for music was nurtured at Arden while a part of the music club under the directorship of Ian Hurd. Since leaving Arden, Karim most notably has been the featured tenor for Dr. Andrew Marshall's 2018 Jesus Agaban Christmas Cantata performed by the Jamaica's Choral Scholars and the Jamaica Philharmonic Orchestra.
Karim was also featured in this year's Classics in June concert hosted by the Sir Optimist International of Jamaica under the patronage of the Ambassador of France to Jamaica. Karim is now a full-time singer and vocal performance coach. So, um, Mervyn, I will be consulting with him about my singing thing as you suggested. You can check out his debut single, debut single, People Like You, on all major streaming platforms, and feel free to book him for your next event, please. So, I, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I'm gonna hand over to Karim while who will entertain us during dinner. And when Karim's performance is finished, if um, dinner is still in process, we will be turning over to Sean Pinnock on turntable. So, Pause from your eating just to give him an encouraging round of applause, please. Thank you, Karim. Please go right ahead. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Birds flying high. You know how I feel Sun in the sky You know how I feel Breeze drifting on by You know how I feel It's a new dawn It's a new day It's a new life For me and I'm feeling good I'm feeling good Fish in the sea You know how I feel River running free You know how I feel Blossom on a tree, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. And I'm feeling good. You got food. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Yay. 
Thank you. Go right ahead. Daylight come and me won't go home. Day, me say day, me say day, me say day, me say day. Oh, come and me won't go home. Work a night and a drink a rum. Me won't go home. Stack banana till the morning call. Taliman, Taliman, me banana. Me say we come, me say Taliman, Taliman, me banana. Six one foot, seven foot, eight foot, dog. They like come, me want go home. Six foot, seven foot, eight foot, bunch. Daylight come, me want go home. Day, me say day, oh. Daylight come, me want go home. Day, me say 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 day, oh. A lovely bunch of ripe banana. Daylight come, me want go home. Hide the deadly black. Tarantula Daylight come and me want go home Six foot, seven foot, eight foot much Daylight come and me want go home Six foot, seven foot, eight foot much Daylight come and me want go home Day, me say day, oh Daylight come and me want go home Day me said that, me said that, me said that, me said that, me said that. Come, me sat, tell him, man, tell him, banana. Oh, 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 come, me sat, tell him, man, tell him, banana. Oh, 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 day. Me said that, oh. Thank you. That is in honor of Mr. Harry Belafonte. I found out recently that he passed the day after my birthday. May his soul rest in peace. Who killed him? <laughs> I didn't kill him. <laughs> It was me. <laughs> now, if you know anything about Jamaican music, sitting here in limbo, like a bird without a song. You know, Mr. Jimmy Cliff, right? This is his song. Hey, sitting here in limbo. No, I know it won't be long. But I know that my faith will lead me on mm -hmm. I'm sitting here in limbo Waiting for the dust to roll Bye. 
but all that is past and gone. This little boy is moving on. I'm sitting here in limbo, waiting for the tide to roll. Sitting in, yeah, say so we're sitting in limbo. Thank you. No, I said I wanted to give you just a little taste of my original song, People Like You. I wrote it during the time of the Black Lives Matter movement and right after the whole George Floyd incident, and it really touched my heart, that whole incident. So. This song came into my spirit, and this is people like you. Did not suffer and die to give me an education to slight, oppress, or discourage my people. Because whatsoever education I acquired out of this, mm -hmm. that reminds the woman beyond the Look years. into my eyes. What do you see? Am I the same as you? Or do you see something scary? What do you want from me? What more can I do? Except that I'm a human just like you. We're crying in the crying in the crying in the silence. Mm -hmm. Crying in the crying in the crying in the silence. Crying in the crying in the crying in the silence. Crying in the crying in the in the silence. We're just people, don't think we're evil. We all want the same thing, peace and liberty. Sons and mothers, daughters, fathers, brothers. There's no race or color, don't judge us by our hue. We're just people just like you. Just people just like you. Oh. Can you hear the cry of the single mother? Yes, the boy who grew up without the love of a father. Can you hear the cries of the oppressed people? Deny their rights and left to cry in silence. Peace and liberty, sons 
Just like you. And before I go, I want to like a dancing tune. So this one is by Mr. Chronix. I feel like I'm not finishing the food now. So if you don't want to rock with me for this one. When you can rock with me and bop and sing along, eh? All right. Listen to music, I can't hear the track. <laughs> oh, skanking, groovy, hallelujah. Skanking, groovy, I just say Mr. Tyson, yeah. Skanking, groovy, and the pressure. The pressures of life and it's tough. No stay down, mama time for get up. No bother with the down, full style, strictly up, full vibes. When the bills and the rent and the mortgage due. Huh. When your best friends are gone and it's only you. Lift up your hands and let me sing those kinky sweet. Everybody wanna feel I, yeah, man. Forget your troubles in a rock. Just like that, you know, feel like reggae music, sweet, yeah, 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 skanky, sweet. Everybody wanna feel iry. Forget your troubles in the rock with me. You know, feel like reggae music, sweet, yeah, 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 yeah. For every pain, there's a melody. For every trouble, there's a harmony. Brings everything together. So make we sing together. I know it's a life no hard. And every man got their struggles. I'm begging you help me, Lord. Let me overcome my troubles. Skunky sweet. Everybody wanna feel iry. Forget your troubles in a rock with me. You know, feel like reggae music, sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skunky sweet. Everybody wanna feel Tonight, we're grooving all our troubles away. Miss Faye, sweet, kid, all the bones of me.
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Karim Chang. Have a wonderful rest of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Harry, I mean Jimmy, I mean Kareem, please. A round of applause for Kareem. What a talented young man. Thank you, Kareem. That was lovely. And I'm sure that we all enjoyed the nod to Harry Belafonte. That was great. Ardenites, friends and family, I know that some of that many of you really, really understand that Arden is love because Arden is the foundation for all of us that went there. But I want you to know a few things about Arden, or to remind you about some th of some things about Arden that I'm sure will um, you'll be pleased to, re to hear or to remember. All right, now, Arden High School has again copped the Marcus Garvey Award for Excellence in the Jamaica Cultural Development Commission's Performing Arts Competition. school to win and we're the second school to win four times since 2013. Arden continues to blaze a trail. All right, we have been spelling bee champions more than any school in Jamaica. And can you imagine if I had been there at this time and was doing my Latin? I could spell many Latin words. Oh boy. Now, Man in Cup and Oliver Shield. We were, we were champions in 1991. And um, Dean, remind me of the pen relay shield we won in what year? Dean Burrows, please remind me. Arden won the pen relay shield in what year? In 2003. Arden won the pen relay shield, and as I said before, Manning Cup and Olivia Shield champions in 1991. Look here, I spoke to, I spoke to an Arden student who told me that her most memorable time at Arden was when we won this Manning Cup, and we got to go home. They got to go home early, and how a bus came for them, 
and she she was just bursting with that one wonderful time when Al Arden relaxed its rules. <laughs> I remember. Do how many of you ha were exposed to Miss Gale, E. M. Claire Gale? All right. Can I tell you, you would then be the only people in this room who know how to give properly to give applause. Am I correct? Now, you see nowadays people would want to go a story of clap, clap, clap until they die? No, not at all. Miss Gale would sit on the platform and when something happened that was momentous, she would do this. How many people remember that? How many people, if you remember that, raise your hand. Yes, never ever were we allowed to be vulgar. We could not clap everlasting, no matter how you loved what you saw. How many people remember that it was Miss Gale who introduced chamber music? And how many people made derogatory um, references to that other thing that chamber represents? I mean, I'm telling you, being at Arden was just plain fun. No, I, I'm telling you, folks, I don't know if other schools have this fun. Well, basketball, let me tell you a little bit about basketball. The first Jamaican to play professionally in the United States, Wayne Sappleton. Ardenite, clap. All right. I'm just entertaining you, you know, before, because um, the meal is, um, the service is t uh, timely. We have won at Arden more schoolboy basketball competitions than any other school by winning over 20 times. In table tennis, we won the Issa boys and girls under 19 and under 14 competitions several times. Oh, you people don't know much about Issa boys and girls, I understand. One of the most involved schools in Issa run run high school, in the Issa run high school sporting competitions. We're competing in 10 sports at the national level. It deserves a round of applause. All right. Arden was removed from the shift system to a full day school with the construction of the Roy J. E. Banks block named after our fourth principal. That happened in 1989. And you know, folks, let me tell you, my niece's daughter won a pastor scholarship for some other school and she's determined to send her to Arden. And I was talking with her about, just as the pandemic started, and she, 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 we, there was an immaculate girl's mother there and my niece, three of us were talking and she said, she was telling me that, she says, my dear, when I hear other schools talking about the stress they're having with um, online courses, I can't even relate. Arden was doing that from the year before COVID, right, Miss Malloy? The lady from Immaculate Jaws almost dropped. She says, what? My, my niece who is so bossy, Lord, she says, nothing to do with the family. Us humble people. She says, Oh, my dear, I, I, I really don't know what you people are stressing about. You should have sent her to Arden. We don't have this problem. Miss Malloy has the school on, on where, in fact, we're not only online, we're practiced online, so that we are not going through teething pains that you people have, we have all our teeth. <laughs> anyway, some of you will get that next week. <laughs> okay, folks, so, I said that to say, we've pivot, um, Arden pivoted to online learning in 24 hours at the close of school during the recent COVID-19 pandemic, bearing out what I just said. Give a round of applause, that is planning. <laughs> and Arden has maintained an above 90% average overall throughout the period. And let me just say one of the things that Nadine Malloy told me about uh, maybe a year ago, that some official from the ministry told her, he said, Arden does not show 
mercurial you know, rise and falls. Arden is one school that has a steady, steady, steadily increasing presence in the education system. Arden moves from excellent level, excellent goes in that way. Some schools, they're shine today and down tomorrow, not Arden. Give your wonderful 96-year-old school a big, big, big round of applause. I just want you to know that the eight students we have with us, the eight student ushers are available to put up your hand, do not be afraid to indicate that they should attend to you with their tablet, with your pledge forms. Paul is looking very concerned, but they're there, please call them and make sure that you make your pledge because the wellness center, I think, will be occupied by alum uh, past students, right? Right, Flo? <laughs> I'm just joking. I just want you to know, though, that our students with us today, Liam Mead, who is our head boy, Anna Laura Roman Rodriguez is our head girl, Aaliyah Hall is deputy head girl, and Sean Paul, not the singer, Sean Paul Morrison is the deputy head boy. They are with Marlon Matteson, student council president, I call him the, 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 the um, union man. He's a senior prefect as well. There is Therrell Marriott, another senior prefect in the group, and a lower sixth former, Shannon Smith, a prefect is there. Give them a round of applause. They represent the school body here today, and they're doing a great job. But the only thing is that they're a little bored now because you're not calling them to make pledges. Right, Paul? That's right, and you know Paul gets nervous when he doesn't hear Chi Ching Ching. The, not the singer. And while we're here, I want to tell you that we have, Arden is a family school, as you know. We have Dr. Marvin Reed, the, 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 the foreign chapter from St. Mary, whose mother actually went to Arden. His son went to Arden, Marvin went to Arden, of course, his son, Damani went to Arden, and his daughter is currently at Arden. Marvin, she's in 10th grade? His daughter is in 10th grade. Give the Reed family a big round of applause. <laughs> Folks, the love for Arden really, really is deep and strong. I tell you, we have one of our inductees today, Alec Jen. He is here and he is a proud Ardenite. His daughter graduated from Arden in 2018 and his son is currently at Arden. And of course, one of our bright scholars. It's just wonderful to have the Jane family and I'm particularly pleased to say this because when his family came to Jamaica, his late father, Mr. Sushil Jen, who was a friend of mine, is fond of saying that I was the first person to welcome him. So please give a round of applause to the Jen family. <laughs> Little did I know when I welcomed Mr. Sushil Jen that his, he was so sensible to send his son to the best school. Clap him again, please. All right, the soup is here. The soup is here, so of course I know. Oh, by the way, did I tell you, when I told you about my Latin experience, folks, let me just ask you, please, go to Michael Clark and ask him about his Salwete Discipuli story. I am far too polite, as I told you, to mention it here. While you're being served your soup course, I remember talking with Vilma MacDonald, who told me that her, the thing she remembers most about being at Arden is that she was able to play the piano for worship from about fourth form. So she played the piano for worship. And she said she had the liberty to select some of the hymns for worship. Remember when we all used to stand in the hall by class? 
Oh, yes. Short ones at the top. I was in the middle. I was always in the middle. Short people in the front and in graduated height. Trust me. And of course, Vilma, our dear Vilma, distinguished Jamaican Hall of Famer. She was into sports. She remembers at Arden her sports career. She was into long jump, high jump. She played netball. Of course, there was no league at the time, but she just played netball. And she has an autograph book that she won for her um, jumping, um, for her high jump. Um, career. Now, I want to pause to recognize one of our New York visitors, Clive Blackwood, ladies and gentlemen. Clive is over there. He is the first. Okay. Clive is what, the first black. What again? Nadine, remind me. Oh, he is the first man of color, first um, auditor, general auditor, and vice president of the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. Clive is. And Clive, are you involved in the rollout of Fed now? He is involved in the rollout of Fed now. So if you have any questions about Fed now, get his number and send him your questions, please. I've been keeping up to date, Clive, on Fed now. <laughs> he and his wife, Sandra, came down earlier this year to, or was it last year? Okay, the last, this academic year, and he had a wonderful session with the students, and it was absolutely lovely. Folks, wherever you find these Ardenites, be like Nadine Malloy and give them a little thing and send them to Jamaica. Tell her. She knows how to corral them and make sure we, 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 we know them. Okay, have a, enjoy your soup. And I turn over at this time to Sean Pinnock, resident Arden DJ or you could call him Selector. Sean, over to you. Sitting in the morning sun I'll be sitting when the evening comes Watching the ships roll in then I watch them roll away again, yeah I'm sitting on the dock of the bay Watching the tide roll away Ooh, I'm sitting on the dock of the bay Wasting time I left my home in Georgia Frisco Bay Cause I've had Nothing to live for Look like nothing's Gonna come my way So I'm just Gonna sit on the dock Of the bay Watching the tide Roll away I'm sitting On the dock of the bay Wasting time I can't do what ten people tell me to do So I guess I'll remain the same yes. Sitting here resting my bones And this loneliness won't leave me alone Listen, two thousand miles I roam Just to make this dock my home Now I'm just 
lost home slip at the dock of a bay Watching the tide roll away I'm sitting on a dock of a bay Wasting time Oh! 
troubling us about. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a round of applause to our own Flo Darby, who will tell us about the Wellness Center, and thank you. Do not let her talking stop you from calling the students to contribute. All right? A, a more hearty round of applause, please. Thank you. Well, good evening, fellow alumni. I was going to say alumni, fellow alumni. <laughs> Wonderful to be here today. I have a f an initial task though. And if you can sing, you're gonna join me for my big job. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Vilma. Happy birthday to you. Now let us sing it better all along. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Vilma. Happy birthday to you. And let's get it on now. Happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, dear Vilma. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you, dear Vilma, happy birthday. All right, three cheers for Vilma. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. You're saying something? You have to come up with it. I can't. Miss, Mrs. Vilma McDonald, on behalf of the Arden Alumni Association, you, you want to thank you for choosing to... This is Vilma McDonald on behalf of the Arden Alumni Association. I want to thank you for choosing to celebrate your birthday with us. You have been away from your family all day and you chose to spend it with the Arden Alumni Association. You are responsible for a lot of what we see here today. And I'm sure that it took a lot of um, sacrifice for you to do that. And so because of what we have noticed, we thought it best to just give you this token of our appreciation on this year's birth night. So, Lady Vilma has been a tower of strength to the Alumni Association, plans these banquets year after year, and really does it well. It's our, as you can see, it's well organized. So, back to wellness. Members of the Board of Governors, Reverend Courtney Gordon, Executive Chairman of the Church of God in Jamaica, and Mrs. Gordon, our Principal, Ms. Nadine Malloy, members of the Foundation. Well, let me start with Hall of Famers, wherever you are. Members of the Foundation, I ask you to stand when I mention your name. Mr. Paul Barnett, Mrs. Esther Tyson, Mrs. Audrey Chin, Ms. Rosemary Henry, our Corporate Secretary. Where are you, Rosie? Stand up. Mr. Max Jennings Gordon, Mr. Uton, <laughs> Mr. Uton Henry, Mr. Denzel Livingston. Uton is from Atlanta and Denzel is from Florida. 
And of course, ex officio member, Dwayne Thomas. Don't think you're going to get away tonight. What did I do wrong? Huh? Oh, hi. Oh, sorry. 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 Dennis Livingston from Florida. The Wellness Center project offers us an opportunity. It offers us as alumni an opportunity to contribute to the well-being of the next generation of students. And since uh, Mrs. Tyson says, you cannot speak while I speak, or you'll get a detention. So I need your attention. This is our real important project. We recognize the magnitude of wellness and mental health challenges faced by our society, as well as our students, and must do our best to respond to the challenges. The need for a health and wellness center at Arden is more urgent than ever before. And Ms. Malloy will tell you that the needs are enormous. The students are no longer like, they, like we were when we were at school because of all the challenges society uh, gives them. The need for a Additionally, our school population has increased immensely over the last few decades, and sadly, our wellness resources have not kept the pace with our growth. The wellness center will be built at a, at a cost of 60 million Jamaican dollars, as you have heard, and will house offices for our guidance counselors, nurses station, student and staff sick bays with associated restrooms, student lounge, counseling rooms, which will allow for the service of psychologists, a social worker, a part-time psychiatrist, and alumni mentors in lush green spaces and gardens that will provide a relaxing, tranquil, and peaceful environment that is perfect for wellness, therapy, and healing. The Arden Wellness Center is to be the first such project in Jamaica and will be a gift to Arden by you, our alumni, through the Arden Alumni Foundation. With assistance from our other stakeholders, such as the Parent Teachers Association, the church, and corporate Jamaica. This is an excellent opportunity for us to make a meaningful contribution to our school as we seek to turn this ambitious idea into reality. We know that your investment into the lives of our children will have enormous benefits to our country. Deo duque quare optima, with God as guide, seek the best. Let's do this, Arden alumni, let's do it. So I implore you this evening, Listen to the students coming to your tables and make those pledges. We already have in hand a good deal of funds, not enough by any means, so we need another $50 million to make this a reality. Thank you so much for your attention. Ladies and gentlemen, another round of applause for Flo Darby, the Wellness Center, and for yourselves as you call our student ushers and make your pledges. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, Flo. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the students to assist, as I told you. Please, please call them. Well, we still have our entree to go through, so I will now hand back over to selector, Sean Pinnock. Sean, over to you. As 
a matter of fact, folks, while we're waiting on dinner, Sean, give me a minute. I want to remind you of the persons who will be inducted into the Arden Hall of Fame. We have Mrs. Gloria Wallen, a former head girl from 1956, who devoted her life to teaching right back at Arden. Give her a round of applause, please. We will go on to honor and induct into the Hall of Fame Jennings Max Gordon, our MIT graduate and solar wind, solar and wind energy engineer, Max Gordon. A round of applause, please. Then we have one of our accountants, Philbert Solo Solomon. Oh, Phil, Solo, that's uh, your wife? Of course, I see why you married, he married you, my dear. These accountants are usually attracted to sparkling people. So, Solo is a chartered accountant, and of course he is the alumni financial manager for life. Don't it, Jereen? Absolutely. He also is a member of the Arden Choir. We have Howard Mahoney, who will be inducted as well. He's a financial planner, a financial and retirement planner. He is also a music promoter. Howard. Where? Oh, Howard is not here today, so his award will be received by someone else on his behalf. Then, of course, we have Mr. Dave Rodney, a multilingual, international, trailblazing consultant. And I'm telling you, he wanted me on his team to do Latin. But alas, it was not to be. Dave, I'm sorry to have let you down. No, I'm sorry, Latin let me down. Then there is Glenn Davidson, founding member of the Toronto chapter, which gave Arden its first school bus. You have to clap all of these people in a hello. Now we also have, to end it, um, our listing today to be inducted, Denzel Davis, dedicated, committed information technology professional, another member, another Arden member who will be inducted into our Hall of Fame. And we have Mr. Alec Jin, CD. He's an illustrious international chartered accountant and systems auditor. He is an advisor to government people. Wink, wink, Alec. <laughs> and he's a very communi uh, committed community individual. And of course, I told you earlier that Alec democratically told his children they had to come to Arden. <laughs> his daughter is clapping. She knows it's true. Ladies and gentlemen, another hearty round of applause for our eight inductees, two of whom will not be here today, but we are very grateful that these people have remembered their um, alma mater and served with such distinction and such passion. You will soon be stronger. The entree is now on its way to your um, seat. Please. Bon appetit. As soon as um, dinner is completed, we will have the citations read by various persons for our distinguished inductees. It is listed in your program. The Hall of Fame citations and awards listing is right there. And so we will go through those as quickly as possible. Thank you very, very much. We have Hall of Famers as, such as Grace Gordon, of course, Flo Darby, Michael Clark, Paul Barnett, uh, Millicent Ferguson Comrie, Sonia Betty, Esther Tyson, 
to read the citations to our awardees. And of course, Mr. Alokjen will be responding on behalf of the inductees. So we're, we're, we're doing well. And remember, there is the mandate that you dance until the hotel throws us out. So gear up. And before that, we will be hearing from another star tonight, Monifa Goss, who will be in cabaret right after dinner, but after the award, the inductees are um, Oh, and we will, of course, sing our lovely school song. So, much more interesting things ahead. Eat up and prepare to hear a little more about each of our inductees. Thank you very much. You know, folks, when I think of Arden, I remember Reverend McPherson on Sunday at the launching um, church service who said that long before you seen Bolt um, to the world, had his phrase to the world, Arden was a school to the world. So I agree with Reverend McPherson. Don't it? Thank you very, very much. We have one very, um, one person in agreement. Thank you very much. Oh, I must tell you that we have two, we have a mother and daughter. Arden Dio, Maureen Spence Campbell, and Marissa Campbell. Where are you? Give me a wave. Can I, can I, ha, over there, where's mom? Okay, okay. So there's Marissa over there and her mom, Maureen Spence Campbell, who are the Knights. What a wonderful thing for the family. Okay. S sorry? Father and daughter. Okay, we have to recognize a father and daughter. Give me, can I have the names? Oh, Philbert and Desiree. Of course, of course, that is another democratic situation where the children are told to choose the school they want to go to, but they must go to Arden. Arden is a school built on the um, animal farm tradition. <laughs> so, where's Desiree? She's here? Okay, wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. As a matter of fact, I don't want to limit us to the people that I've called out. Are there any siblings, mother and child, father and child, grandmother, any, how many people here have some other family member that's Arden, Arden family, apart from the Jens and the Solomons, and of course. Sorry? Sorry? Monica? Monica? Oh, yes, of course. Wow. And Vikram? Ah, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. A round of applause for all the people who are here who have somebody else with them, Arden family. That's awesome, really, really awesome. Is somebody else putting up a hand over there? S somebody come over here and tell me, please. Oh yes, of course, there is Grace Tremaine. The Gordons. Locks. Oh no. Please, let me ask you, please, to clap not the Gordon clan, but the G Gordon posse. It's so much of them, it's a posse. Beg you, clap them for me, please. Folks, five of them came to Arden. My family does not have five people. 
Good heavens, the, st the statistics keep coming. Five went to Arden, three returned to teach. Folks, the plot deepens. Five went to Arden, three returned to teach, four children were democratically sent to Arden. Clap them. And I must say, one thing we must admit, the Gordons have excelled. They are beacons of light for Arden. God bless you all. Thank you so much. Bon appetit again.
and then you can just top it up because you know this 13 five business is a little untidy so just bring it up to 20 it sounds much better and we and Paul will appreciate it we are encouraged by the show so far of your support and we ask and urge you to please 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 help us let me give a shout out to my friend Dr. Verna Reed online who asked me what am I drinking why am I calling the performer um, Harry and Jimmy and eventually Kareem she does know that it was a nod to his Harry um, persona and then his Jimmy flex and generally speaking I was just moving with his many personas but once again, please clap the people online. Thank you ever so much, faithful friends and Arden family for being online with us. We hope you're enjoying yourselves and appreciate you. Remember, there is the last lap tomorrow at the JDF, so you're invited to come on out and get to meet and mingle with all the people. Oh, I'm told all the good looking Ardenites will be there. Anybody who is not there tomorrow um, is having um, plastic surgery consultations. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, I take the liberty, although we're not quite finished with dinner, just to move the program along. I hope it will be okay with you. And I am going to ask the uh, inductees and the persons who will read the respective citations, will you please touch up your makeup or do whatever you want to do? Because we're gonna call you up. We will ask that the person being inducted be here on the, plat uh, on the podium to hear the citation and of course the reader will read and present. We will do it in this order of Mrs. Wallen, then to Jennings Gordon, then to Philbert Solomon. Howard Mahoney is not here, so someone will receive. Go on to Mr. Glenn Davidson, citation to Denzel Davis, and then we go to citation to Alok Jen. As I told you before, two persons are not here, so those will be, we'll just um, have somebody receive for them. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm asking you to help us welcome Grace Gordon. Oh, before I go, let me acknowledge some other people that are here. I want to remember the Ferguson family, former Minister of Health Fenton, Mrs. Uh, his, his sister Millicent, they're both here. And let me tell you, four of the children went to Arden and Ma Ferg, their mother, was PTA president for life. She, no, once you get, these Arden people just don't want to let go, you know, I'm telling you, is they're enjoying themselves. It's not about position and jo jo jostling for power. It's all about the family feeling and that whole, um, you know, you just feel invested in the institution. So I want to acknowledge two sisters over there, the Townsends. There we shout out. And of course, um, who else am I leaving out? I remembered another set of people. We did the, Gord the famous Gordons, the Fergusons, the Townsends. Oh, and the Nicholsons, Portia, and Mirth, and all those. Please give a wave. Give us a wave, thank you. Nice, niceness. Pure niceness this tonight. Okay. We want to get right into these um, citations and we have our student ushers who are all, um, who will be escorting our inductees up to the podium. So we're gonna get started with that program and I'm calling on Miss Grace Gordon to make her way here to read the citation to Mrs. Gloria Wallen. Grace Gordon will, of course, be there. Please get one of the microphones for her. Liam, the microphone for Miss Gordon. 
Give her a round of applause. A, a more robust round of applause, please. Remember how much of them come to Arden. They alone would fill up this room with clap. Right here. What, you're going to come on the stage? You're going to stand right there. Good, and she's going to sit here. She's going to sit there. Who's that chair for? Who is the chair? No, you're not. Miss Gordon will read and Mrs. Wallen, please, I'm inviting Mrs. Wallen to come on up. Yes, she's, she's going to sit in that chair. Mrs. Wallen will take a seat right here. Give her a round of applause as she comes. Remember, she was head girl in 1956. Head girl in nine. Head girl in 1956, and I tell you, her citation has been read by another head girl in the year 1966. Give both of them a round of applause for me, please. Now, to show you that they are so well coordinated, as you can see, they were 56 and 66, and they both did their hair to the same color today, just for, the for this event. <laughs> So we want to, so over to Miss Grace Gordon, please, ladies and gentlemen, before she takes the microphone, will you please not talk at this time because it reflects here and she has to, and she wants to read it so you can hear all about the bad things Mrs. Wallen did while she was at Arden. Thank you. <laughs> The Arden Alumni Association joins the entire Arden fraternity in saluting you, Gloria Mercedes Wallin, on your, on your attainment of the Distinguished Alumni Achievement Award. You have demonstrated the Arden spirit by your commitment to service in the fields of education, and community development. Gloria Wallin, née Aldridge, took the third year Jamaica local examination and specialized in teaching. She then entered Arden High School in September 1952. She became a prefect in 1954, and in 1956, she achieved the pinnacle of student leadership when she was selected to serve as head girl. <laughs> Gloria exhibited natural leadership qualities and along with her student leadership responsibilities, she also became president of the Spiritual Life Club, now the ISCF. Gloria graduated from Arden High School after completing sixth form. Gloria entered the civil service where she worked for nine years, but her ambition was to be a teacher. Therefore, being the innovator and leader that she was, she started her own preparatory school in 1968, while at the same time she was managing her church's preparatory school. In 1971, she merged both schools and served as the principal until July, July 1985. Gloria Wallin demonstrated her amazing ability to manage multiple roles at once by teaching at Arden High School from September 1978 while performing the role as principal of the prep school. 
Gloria decided to further her, her studies so she could be adequately prepared to teach students at the upper high school level. She therefore gained a Bachelor of Arts general degree in history and geography in 1975 and a diploma in education in 1979. She again demonstrated her skills at time management when she taught at Arden Extension High School part-time from September 1975 to July 1978, and also taught part-time at Calabar Extension High School during the year 1977 to 1978. Gloria Wallin had acquired her professional qualifications as a teacher, attained her degree in the content areas in which she wanted to teach, and she had also gained experience in teaching. It was no surprise, therefore, that when Arden High and Arden Extension High Schools were merged into one two-shift school, she was employed as full-time geography teacher. Gloria held various posts of responsibility during her tenure as full-time teacher at Arden High School. In 1983, Mrs. Gloria Wallin was appointed to the position of vice principal at Arden High School, a position she held until her retirement in 1993. Gloria Wallin migrated from Jamaica to Florida in 1993. Having assessed her situation in her new home, the irrepressible Gloria Wallin, with the indomitable ardent spirit, determined that she would retool and earn the necessary qualifications to enable her to continue to do what she loved best, teaching. It was with this in mind that she pursued courses at Broward Community College and Nova Southeastern University. First came the certificate in computer applications from Broward Community College in 1994. She had to bring herself up to speed with the technology. Then with a sense of determination and purpose, Gloria completed other certifications in child care training and developmentally appropriate practices with majors in early childhood education, curriculum planning for early childhood education, and other relevant areas. Having gained the necessary certifications to function within the preschool and early childhood system of Florida, Gloria began her new season as a teacher. As a committed Christian, Gloria's community involvement has been largely through school and church. This life of service was, however, not only limited to teaching and church work, but she was also greatly involved in the Parent Teachers Association and the Arden Alumni Association. Gloria Mercedes Wallin, it is in recognition of your demonstration of the indomitable ardent spirit and your invaluable contribution to the teaching profession, to the Alumni Association, and to Arden High School that we induct you into the Arden Hall of Fame. to the Arden Hall of Fame. Thank you. Okay. Can I have to speak? No. No. Okay. Where is it? Oh. Ladies and gentlemen,
stand and welcome our new inductee into the Arden Hall of Fame, Mrs. Gloria Wallen. Thank you very much, Grace. Thank you very much, Grace Gordon, and thank you very much, Mrs. Wallen. Absolutely wonderful. There's her canister with her citation, and she will make her way. Mrs. Wallen, I am so inspired to take this message to my sisters who are two thirds your age and are having problems understanding the phone. <laughs> Both of who made the gargantum leap into the 21st century by getting a cell phone about four years ago. <laughs> of course, this was motivated by um, cash as usual because I told him I couldn't pay for any more calls. <laughs> okay, folks, that was wonderful. Let's move along right now for the citation to Mr. Jennings Max Gordon. His citation will be read by Flo Darby. Thank you, uh, student ushers. And so I will vacate the lectern here. Flo will take over and I invite Mr. Jennings Gordon to please join us here on the... Max, my batchmate, we entered Arden together many years ago. And what a pleasure it is for me to read this citation. The Arden Alumni Association joins the entire Arden fraternity in saluting you, Jennings Max Gordon, on your attainment of the Distinguished Alumni Achievement Award. Jennings Max Gordon attended Arden High School during the years 1965 to 1971. During this time, he distinguished himself as an extraordinary academic, achieving top grades in mathematics. At the time, Arden wasn't doing so well in maths, but he did. Max was head boy for the class of 1971 and graduated with excellent results. He commenced studies during his, towards his degree at the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine, Trinidad, and based on the high quality of his work, he received a scholarship and transferred to the prestigious Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT. At MIT, he received the Bachelor of Science degrees in both mathematics and electrical engineering. He later received his Master of Science degree in electrical engineering and business management from Stanford University. <laughs> Jennings worked as a teaching assistant at both MIT and Stanford universities. He has lectured at both the University of the West Indies and the University of Technology in engineering and mathematics. He also worked as a communication engineer at the Jamaica Public Service and was project analyst at the Jamaica National Investment Company. Max Jennings was determined to be of greater service and so he established his own company, Gorman Corporation Limited, in January 1981, 
and has over 20 years of experience in the solar and wind energy fields. Jennings Max Gordon is a member of several civic and charitable organizations, including the Kiwanis Club of Stony Hill. He has also extended his service and philanthropic um, nature to Arden. As an active past student, Max has quietly contributed generously to Arden over the years, serving, his, um, serving Arden by providing professional advice and direction in his area of expertise, as well as with financial support. Arden, like most educational institutions, has struggled with very high energy bills. Max Gordon led a group of past students in the formation of an energy committee of, for the school. Max has given sterling service, direction, supervision and management with regard to the ongoing solar efficiency and conservation program. This is one area that he has left an indelible mark on Arden, and it has resulted in sig <laughs> Yes, it's worthy of applause. And this has resulted in significant savings in energy and cost to the school. In fact, he donated and put into service the solar lights at the entrance of the school, which we now enjoy. <laughs> Additionally, Jennings Gordon continues to serve as a director of the Arden Alumni Foundation and, gui and guided us over the period when we achieved our goal of the solarization of the Arden High School. Jennings Max Gordon, it is in recognition of your professional achievements and your invaluable contribution to your community, to Jamaica, and to Arden High School that we induct you into the Arden Hall, Arden Alumni Hall of Fame. Congratulations, Max. This is well deserved, and we hope that everyone understands how much you have made a difference to our school. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise to greet and salute our newly inducted Hall of Famer, Mac Jennings Max Gordon. <laughs> Folks, remember you might need him to consult with you about your electricity bill. <laughs> so, thank you Flo, thank you Max, we're moving right along. And we have a citation to Philbert Solomon. It will be read by Michael Clark, a distinguished Hall of Famer. And I hope his citation mentions that his wife is vivacious and very supportive. Good evening, Philbert da Costa Solomon. The Arden Alumni Association joins the entire fr Arden fraternity in saluting you, Philbert da Costa Solomon, on your attainment of the Distinguished Alumni Achievement Award. 
You exemplify the values of dedication, commitment, and hard work instilled in us by our alma mater. Philbert started Arden High School in 1970 and graduated in 1977. He was a member of the school's track team from 1972 to 1974 and was a member of what he will tell you is the great Olsen House. During his years at Arden, Philbert grew up with Mr. Noel Dexter as music teacher, an experience that was de destined to mark him for life. He was a member of the Arden High School Choir. Trained and developed by Noel Dexter, the choir, <laughs> the choir that accomplished great exploits in its day and was destined, sorry, was described by critics as one of the best choirs on the island. <laughs> Under Mr. Dexter's tutelage, Philbert's voice grew and mellowed into the beautiful tenor that we know today. Currently, Philbert manages and trains the National Housing Trust NHT Chorale, based on the mastery he gained at Arden from the sage and music teacher extraordinaire, Noel Dexter. Yeah. Professionally, Philbert is a qualified chartered accountant. He has been employed by the NHT since 1989 and now holds the position of Executive Finance Manager. He achieved his professional designation from the Association of Chartered and Certified Accountants, UK. He earned this qualification on scholarship from NHT. Prior to that, he successfully completed examinations from the Association of Accounting Technicians in London and a business certificate from what was then College of Art, Science and Technology, now University of Technology. Philbert Solomon, affectionately called Sala by his alumni brothers and sisters, has used his skills, abilities and interests to serve the Alumni Association and ultimately Arden High School over the years. He has been the financial officer for the association since 2004 and a member of the homecoming committee for the past three homecomings, 2007, 2012, and 2017. And he does so now in 2023. His almost 20 years of dedicated service to the alumni and Arden would have spanned several presidents and executive committees. He took responsibility for all financial matters, ensuring that the association remained afloat and has been involved in planning and coordinating all Voices concerts and other homecoming events. Philbert has lived a life of service and dedication that has allowed him to make an impact through his many roles, especially those that bring benefits to children and their well-being. Philbert da Costa Solomon, it is in recognition of your demonstration of the spirit of excellence in your profession and your invaluable contribution and service to the Arden Alumni Association and your alma mater, Arden High School, that we induct you into the Arden Hall of Fame.
Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I invite you, please, stand and heartily congratulate newly minted Hall of Famer, Philbert Solomon. He is looking so dapper, he could be a cadet. And ladies and gentlemen, we continue to move briskly in our citation readings and awards. And now, I once again invite Flo Darby, distinguished Hall of Famer, to read the citation to Mr. Dave Rodney. You recall that Mr. Rodney is a multilingual international tra trailblazing media consultant, and Flo will come and read his citation. Please make them welcome. Thank you. Dave Extraordinary Rodney. The Arden Alumni Association joins the entire Arden fraternity in saluting you, Dave, on your attainment of the Distinguished Alumni Achievement Award. A former head boy and valedictorian, Dave attended Arden High School from 1968 to 1975 where he distinguished himself as a scholar of languages and was the first student to attain an ordinary level GCE pass in German. Yeah. During his sixth form years, Dave taught at the Arden Extension School and at the same time, served as president of the Student Council and president of the Spanish Club. A graduate of the University of the West Indies, Mona, Dave participated in training programs at the Université de la Sorbonne, France, Paris, France, <laughs> and at the... <laughs> Dave, I agonized on that word. <laughs> and at the Caribbean Institute of Mass Communication, Mona. He taught languages briefly at Arden and at Wilma's Boys School in Kingston, at, uh, at College Alphonse Daudet in Nice, France, and in port of prince Haiti. Did I do that yes. right? Good. This avid reader, mixed DJ who enjoys tennis and writes regularly is a multilingual, trailblazing media marketing consultant and television host, author, and freelance writer. Dave is co-president of Images LLC, a media marketing company based in New York. His accomplishments over the years have included creating brand awareness and increasing sales for Grace Foods, Western Union, Jamaica Tourist Board, Breezes Bahamas, Room Barbie Court of Haiti, and Grooving in the Park, New York City's biggest, largest reggae and R&B con summer concert. Yes, clap him. His company also created publicity campaigns for entertainment companies and artists. 
Since 1983, Dave has also anchored several high-profile international media-driven events in Jamaica, too many to mention, but the, among them, the Motown Soul by the Sea, the ABC Snapple Sports Superstars, New York's Hot 97 Hot Nights, MTV Spring Break, and the HBO Sinbad Soul Music Festival. He also supervised and executed the National Caribbean radio promotion for Cricket World Cup within the United States of America. Among his innovations are the creation of a one-hour reggae program in French that quickly became syndicated in 11 markets in Quebec, Canada and the partial development of key radio links from New York to elsewhere in the Jamaica Caribbean diaspora. Dave has served on the board of the National Gallery of Art in Jamaica, having been at the time the youngest board member. He has promoted overseas-based Jamaican authors, himself being the author of a book on pop sensation Usher, uh, in, published in New York. He has also written for the Jamaica Tourist Board on various aspects of Jamaica's history. Jamaica's history, Jamaica's cuisine, flora, fauna, and culture, and has orchestrated events in several islands of the Caribbean. Dave has been the recipient of numerous awards for his outstanding work in media. These include New York City's Caribbean Life Impact Award in recognition of his outstanding contribution to the Caribbean American community and the Caribbean Tourism Organizational Organizations Award for Excellence in Travel Journalism. An organist, a photographer, and a contributor to the Jamaica Gleaner the Caribbean Times and Caribbean Life. Dave has a vibrant Facebook, let me see all the, those who are in it, community with over 4,000 avid members called Church Music from Across the World. Dave has an enduring passion for Arden High School. His frequent visits to the school and the many articles written in the Gleena and social media have added to the school's positive image and brand. He has been guest speaker at the breakfast lecture series and has brought high achieving personalities to inspire and motivate the current student body. Dave's mantra is clear. Most people, I quote, most people see only a part of what is possible. I create opportunities by seeing and synergizing the possibilities and having the persistence and the audacity to act upon them. Dave maps out plans, visualize overcoming obstacles, and retain the ability to adapt to changing conditions in an ever-changing world. At the end of the day, Dave, you turn dreams into reality. Dave Rodney, it is my pleasure to say to you that it is in recognition of your invaluable contribution to Arden High School, to Jamaica, and to the world at large, that we induct you into the Arden Alumni Hall of Fame. Please stand and welcome Dave Rodney. What a pleasure this is. Give with a lot of love from your alumni association. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Well, you were invited.
be distressed. 45 only, we must, must get you. Those of you online, please immediately subscribe. But the 45 must be the ones online now. Please call your friends and family. How many? Oh, we're 200. So if the 45 online now we are not yet subscribed, all of you get out your phones, please, and get immediately onto the Arden Alumni channel, and please subscribe. Of course, you can hit us up on Insta at, at Arden Alumni. Please, our Instagram page was established in 2018, and we have 836 followers. And our Facebook page name, Arden High Alumni, there are over 1,700 followers of our Facebook page, but our YouTube presence is very, as they would say, Margo. So I'm asking you please to immediately get onto YouTube and subscribe for us. And we have good news. What is the favorite um, pastime of Paul Barnett? Getting money. What's the favorite pastime of Flo Darby? Money for the Wellness Center. So now, <laughs> so we are happily interrupting our Hall of Fame citations for a special reason. What is that reason, Flo? Oh, I'm asking Florida if they would just come forward now. Florida? Is it Dennis? Come along, Dennis. Not my husband, Dennis. This Dennis. So Dennis wants to tell us some, give us some good news. Well, sorry for interrupting the proceedings, but we tried to uh, make or make a contribution to the wellness center on the tablets. But I guess, I guess, due to the amount, the tablet broke. So. On behalf of the Florida chapter, let me say that again, for all the aspiring chapters. On behalf of the Florida chapter, I would love to use this opportunity to pre present our contribution to the Wellness Center, a contribution of 22,000 US dollars for the Wellness Center. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful. That means they are right there on the, is it the silver or the gold? gold. They are on the gold, under gold. So I am so excited to hear from Atlanta and New York and <laughs> and everywhere else. Thank you so much, Florida. God bless you. We're on our way, guys. We're on our way. What, what, what Nadine Sutherland say, action, not a bug them out. So we want the other chapters to step up. Thank you, Florida. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Please be motivated by this. this for some of you, this small donation. But we are delighted. To us, it's a big thing, and we thank Florida. We are so happy. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to go back because Paul is waiting here. He will read the citation to Howard Mahoney. Howard is, would not, was unable to be with us today. The award will be, the, the, the canister will be received by someone for him, but Paul, in the meantime, will read the citation to us. Thank you. Welcome, Paul, please. Thanks, thanks, Flo. And let me, um, since Florida has stepped up, let me tell you, Toronto has done one million Jamaica dollars, and that has been sent down already, and the others will be coming later. But we have done our one million already. So the target is moving. So the other chapters, we don't know now. Let's move on to salutation for Howard Mahoney. The Arden Alumni Association joins the entire Arden fraternity in saluting you, Howard Vivian Mahoney, on your attainment 
of the Distinguished Alumni Achievement Award. You are the epiphany of service, commitment, and philanthropy. These are the values that you signify the Arden spirit. Howard entered the gates of Arden High School in 1962 and graduated in 1967, but he never really left Arden. His heart and his spirit was indelibly stamped with Arden welfare and concern. After graduating from Arden in 1967, Howard could continue his education by attending National Business Institute, where he attained business certification. Howard then migrated to Canada in 1968 and obtained various certifications to equip himself in the world of work. He gained level two life and disability certificate from the Canadian Association of Insurance and completed courses in risk management, estate planning, retirement planning, wealth ac accumulation. He also earned certi a certified pastoral counselor, CPC, designation for the Pastoral Council of America. Howard began his professional life by working with Cork, with Crown Cork and, and Seal as a quality assurance inspector and a control auditor in, 1990s, in 1970. He remained with the, the company for 30 years. In 2006, Howard founded Silver Lining fin Financial Company and, and, and the infrastructure, and he became the CEO until today. Howard went further and started the Silver Lining production through which he manages, promotes, and produces Caribbean gospel artists on the international level. He organized and prom promote concerts in Canada and other countries. Howard is also passionate about the promotion of Caribbean gospel music that in 2014, he established the Canadian Caribbean Gospel Music Award. His vision for CCGMA was elevated talented Canadian gospel artists and to assist in the development of youth in the, in the, in the community. Howard's involvement in music spanned over 30 years and his broadcasts were focused on publishing Caribbean gospel music. He was a radio co-host with Dr. Love gospel show on Chin Radio from 2000 to 2007 and then co-host on the stage of CHRY 105.5 FM from 2007 to 2009, Howard's passion drove him to host his own show, Caribbean Gospel Mix, on CHRY 105.5 FM on Sundays from 5 until 7 a.m. From, from 2009 to 2016. Howard's other passion was to support Arden High School, his alma mater. Howard came, Howard can be regarded as the father of Arden Past Students Association in Canada, as in 1980. A, prov a providential encounter with another Arden graduate led to a gathering at his home. Out of the initial meeting, Arden graduates led to gathering at his home. Out of the initial meeting in his home, the suggestion was made for, the, for, for him to form the association. And after meeting with the principal, Mr. Roy Banks, who provided later a letter of this direction in the approval work commenced. Howard was appointed as chairperson of the first committee and the collaboration established and registered in the, the constitution for art and association in Toronto so that the Art and Past Students Association was started. Howard Mahoney served as the first president of the APSA with one of the primary objective of being to help present and past students of Arden. Howard was instrumental in establishing the Joyce Britton Scholarship at Arden. Joyce Britton, the world-renowned soprano and Arden past student, Howard was re-elected as president of Arden Pass Student Association Toronto Chapter. Concurrently, 
with hosting the Arden Alumni Conference. In 1996, Howard sponsored a male student, athlete, who later graduated and went on to higher learning. He sponsored a female student in 1997 from second form through to sixth form. That female student became a part of his family. And at her wedding, he served as her giveaway father. You'll see her tonight and she'll accept on behalf of Howard. Howard has been recognized for the many acts of service and philanthropy, some of which were the special award in recognition of his service as one of the in founding members of Arden Past Students Association in high, Arden High School in, 20, in 2000 and in 2001, an outstanding service of contribution in the community of volunteers on behalf of the Government of Canada. Member of Parliament from Etobicoke Lakeshore 2006 on the occasion of the, the 25th anniversary of the Arden Past Students Association Toronto, an award for dedication and service was commit, commitment to making a difference in 2016. A Lifetime Achievement Award for excellent service in gospel music. Howard Vivian Mahoney, in recognition of your care and concern for the well-being of your fellow men, your acts of philanthropy, your invaluable contribution to the development and the promotion of the Caribbean's gospel music in Canada, and your invaluable contribution to the creation of the Arden Past Students Association in Canada, we now induct you in the Arden Hall of Fame. Receiving on your behalf is your adopted daughter there, Chesem Chin. <laughs> Chesmere, will you come? Thank you. Shamir is accepted for Howard, and she will convey that to, to him. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm asking you to stand and really give a round of applause. Howard is online, and we thank him for staying with us for the evening. Congrats, Howard, newly minted Hall of Famer. Shout out to you. And we thank you so much for your work with Arden. Moving right along, ladies and gentlemen, we have Mrs. Millicent Lynch. Hear me, Millicent Lynch. Millicent Ferguson Comrie, distinguished Hall of Famer, who will now read a citation to Mr. Glenn Davidson, who is unable to be with us today. But please, Millicent, please come on up and read his citation. I'm not sure who will um, accept for him. Oh, Paul Barnett. Sonia? Oh, Sonia Betty will accept for him. Wonderful, thank you. Please go ahead. Good evening, everyone. The Arden Alumni Association joins the entire Arden fraternity in saluting Glenn George Davidson on his attainment of the Distinguished Alumni Achievement Award. Glenn attended Arden High School from 1963 to 1969. As a cricket enthusiast, he represented Arden in the Sunlight Cup cricket competition in 1968 and 1969. And in 1969, he received a Silver Cup Award for Improved Cricketer. Glenn attended George Brown College in Toronto, Ontario, from which he obtained a certificate in coating technology. Later, he enrolled in a Bachelor of Science program 
offered by York University in Toronto. Professionally, for many years, Glenn worked faithfully as a laboratory technician in an organic chemistry lab. And then he moved and worked as a chemical operator for a large pharmaceutical company and from which he retired in November of 2014. At the organic chemistry lab, he did a lot of research and development. Glenn was one of the founding members of the Arden Pass Student Association, the Toronto chapter. He was part of that committee that drafted the constitution for the Toronto chapter. His input in its establishment and registration, which took many months of collaboration, was invaluable. Glenn gave dedicated service and was elected to serve three terms as vice president. Glenn was part of a team of founding members that acquired the first school bus that was shipped to Jamaica, compliments of the Toronto chapter. Glenn envisioned an old hits dance that was implemented and established by the Toronto chapter. The dance became an annual event for 10 years. The revenue went from this Toronto chapter there to function at Arden's lunch school program. Glenn can be commended for starting many social events and hosting them at his home in the early days when the Toronto chapter started, therefore, thereby unifying the group in friendship and establishing a lot of family connections. Glenn, in his quiet and humble disposition, has been an integral part of the life and work of the Toronto chapter. Glenn George Davidson. It is in recognition of your invaluable commitment and contribution to the Arden Alumni Association and to your alma mater, Arden High School, that we induct you into the Arden Hall of Fame. And once again, you know the drill. Please stand and welcome our newly minted Hall of Famer, Glenn Davidson. Thanks, Miss Betty, for receiving the award. Wonderful. We are on our way. In the meantime, of course, I I'm so delighted to have our, um, our families here with us today. So I must tell you that... Um, we have the knights, four knights here, brothers and sisters. Where are they? Give a shout out. Where are the knights? Oh, wonderful. Give them a round of applause. The knights are here in full force. Thank you so much. And ladies and gentlemen, we're moving right along to the citation to Mr. Denzel Davis. And Sonia, we invite you once again to the citation to Mr. Denzel Davis. Where, where's Sonia? Oh, yes. Thank you.
Good evening, everyone. I can just imagine I'm so honored because in 2017, Denzel was standing at this podium and I was on the opposite side, reading my citation. So I'm very honored tonight to do this on behalf of the Toronto chapter. The Arden Alumni Association joins the entire Arden fraternity in saluting you, Denzel Roy Davis, on your attainment of the Distinguished Alumni Achievement Award, Alumni Achievement Award. Denzel attended Arden from 1973 to 1980. At Arden, he became fully integrated in school activities. In 1974, he played in the under-15 high school Colts competition for Arden. He was a leader for the Interschool Christian Fellowship, ISCF, how can I forget that? And was team captain for his beloved Colter House. He was appointed head boy in 1979 and received the Nellie Holson Award for Excellence at the 1980 graduation. A true all-rounder, Denzel wore the Arden Badge of Excellence well. Denzel holds a degree in management and a diploma in marketing from the University of Technology. He is also a recipient of the 1988 designation of Fellow Life Office Management Association. Denzel has been a lifelong information technology IT professional. He started his work experience in 1980 with IBM as a computer operator and moved on to managing project, projects for American Life Insurance Company, Alco. The American International Underwriters, AIU. He participated in the conversion of the Alico life insurance portfolio into that of Life of Jamaica. After a short stint with Scotiabank Jamaica, Denzel moved to Canada and joined the Scotiabank operations there, where he became senior manager business systems. There, he was tasked with handling management and development business insurance applications for Jamaica and Trinidad, and in, which included Scotia Mint, Scotia Bridge, and Scotia Critic Care, pension and critical illness plans. Confidence in his abilities was further enhanced with responsibility for the management of offshore investment products residents in the Bahamas and Cayman. Then Denzel decided to retire in 2021. How lucky him. In August 2010, Denzel became president of the Toronto chapter of the Arden Alumni Association. He has served continuously on the executive team, helping to shape the direction of the association. Some achievements during his ten years were participated in drafting the Arden Alumni Association Constitution, established in 2013 the Jamaican One Million Trust Fund to aid Arden Lunch Program, which Toronto supported since 2002, gave oversight to Toronto's Canada $10,000 investment in the Solarization Project in 2017 contributed in the creation of the 2019 Arden, Elim sorry, the Arden International Committee established to build collaboration and consensus among all chapters, facilitated the Toronto's 2023 investment of Jamaican one million towards the Arden Wellness Center, provided entertainment and spiritual health to over 200 past students worldwide through the medium of music since 2019, and that was just prior to the pandemic. A true philanthropist, Stinsel is involved in his community and is co-founder 
and the first president of Young Minds Empowered, a nonprofit organization in Ontario created to help students in various aspects of life, including financial and development needs. Denzel led in the development of its constitution, mission, statement, and operating procedures. Denzel Roy Davis. It is in recognition of your contribution to your profession, your care, and concern for your fellow man and your invaluable contribution to Arden High School that we induct you into the Arden Alumni Hall of Fame. Thank you. Once again, I invite you to please stand and give a round of applause to our new inductee in the Arden Hall of Fame, Mr. Denzel Davis. Thank you, Denzel. And thank you very much, Sonia. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have one more citation to a distinguished Jamaican Jamaican and um, Ardenite. Mr. Alok Jen, will you please join us? Mrs. Esther Tyson, will you please join us? And the hitherto um, nice and quiet Jen family have now caught the virus particularly from Solos family, so it's wonderful of this ardent sharing that's going on. Thank you. Alok K. Jean. The Arden Alumni Association joins the entire Arden fraternity in saluting you, Alok K. Jane, on your attainment of the Distinguished Alumni Achievement Award. You are a representative of the standard of excellence that gave birth to our alma mater and for which Arden High School stands. You have exemplified this attribute in every sphere of your life. Alok entered Arden High School in 1979 and graduated in 1985. During his tenure as a student, he maintained high academic standards, resulting in seven distinctions in the GCE ordinary level examinations and four distinctions in the GCE Advanced Level Examinations. <laughs> While at Arden, Alok not only focused on his academic goals, but he was also a part of the student leadership team. He served as a prefect and was a member of the French club. After Alok graduated from Arden, he enrolled in the College of the Bahamas, Nassau, from which he gained an associate degree in business administration with a GPA of 4.0. As he continued his academic pursuits in 1988, he graduated from the Punjab University in Chandigra, India, with a Bachelor of Commerce First Class Honors. In 1990, he completed the MSc in Accounting with Distinction at the University of the West Indies, Mona. Alok believed in continuing education to further hone his skills, 
So, in 1996, for the period June to July, he pursued courses in international finance, financial strategy, corporate planning, and activity-based management at the J. L. Kellogg Graduate School of Management, Northwestern University, USA. It is clear that Alloc had prepared himself meticulously to enter the field of finance and accounting. Therefore, it is no surprise that in his professional life, he made a meteoric rise in the corporate world. Alloc was employed by the firm KPMG Pete Marwick in 1991, where in five years, because of the excellence of his work, he moved from being senior accountant to assistant manager and then to manager. In 1996, Alloc transitioned to PricewaterhouseCoopers, where he served first as senior manager until 2000, then received an impressive promotion to partner, where he remained until 2019. <laughs> During that time, his work included being advisory leader for PwC in the Caribbean, covering eight jurisdictions, namely Jamaica, Cayman, Bermuda, Barbados, the Eastern Caribbean, Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, and the British Virgin Islands. He was partner responsible for international financial reporting standards, chairman of the firm's technical committee, member of the PwC Global SME Expert Group, among others. During the journey to achieving great professional heights, Alok has membership in a number of professional associations that includes the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Jamaica, Association of Chartered Certified Accountants UK, Chartered Institute of Management Accountants UK, American Institute of Certified Public Accountants. Alok's involvement in accounting and finance was not limited to the corporate world, as he lectured at the Mona School of Business and Management, UWI, as visiting fellow, 1995 to 2003, an adjunct lecturer from 2019 to present. In recognition of Alloc's service to the accountancy profession, including the adoption and implementation of international financial reporting standards and his public service. In August 2022, he was awarded the national honor of the Order of Distinction in the rank of commander. Alloc's brilliance and skill was recognized by the Prime Minister, who in January 2020 invited him to serve as senior advisor in the office of the Prime Minister on various matters of national policy. He assisted with the coordination of the national COVID-19 response across various ministries, departments, and agencies. He currently serves as chairman of the Board of Port Authority of Jamaica. Although Alok has maintained a pace of high velocity in his professional life, he has always kept his alma mater in focus as he regularly makes monetary contributions to programs such as the Spelling Bee and Schools Challenge Quiz. His commitment to Arden was further demonstrated by the fact that he sent his two children to be a part of this noble institution. <laughs> Alok K. Jean, it is in recognition of your invaluable contribution to your profession in Jamaica and the Caribbean, your commitment to excellence that exemplifies the ardent spirit, and your service to Arden High School that we, the Fraternity of Arden High, induct you into the Arden Hall of Fame.
you very much. Oh, by the eighth inductee, you learned that you have to stand. This is so awesome. What a brilliant set of people that have gone to Arden. Clap yourselves. Wow. And now, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I invite Alec Jen to respond on behalf of the inductees. Give him another round of applause, please. Good evening, everyone. If you'll allow me a minute for my head to shrink back to size. <laughs> On um, behalf of all the distinguished inductees, let me first of all say how truly humbled and honored we are to be recognized by our beloved alma mater and to join the prestigious ranks of the Arden Alumni Hall of Fame. We extend our deepest gratitude to those who nominated us and to the selection committee. I'm sure all the inductees will agree wholeheartedly with me when I say we owe our success in large part to the tremendous support and guidance of all the outstanding teachers and mentors um, at Arden. They not only imparted knowledge, um, but also instilled in us the importance of integrity, perseverance, and the pursuit of excellence. At Arden, we received not only academic education, but also moral education. We received what in Jamaica is called broadopsy, which is something that seems to be in extremely short supply in our country today. Even though it's now 38 years since I left Aden, I can still hear the voice of the late great Reverend Cleve Grant. Uh, <laughs> um, and the life lessons he taught us. Those life lessons are timeless. They are as relevant today as they were then, and I dare say they will continue to be relevant tomorrow. To our families and friends, those who are here tonight, as well as those uh, who couldn't be here tonight, we express our deepest gratitude. Your unwavering love, un encouragement, sacrifices, and support have been the foundation upon which we have built our achievements. You have stood by our side through our triumphs and challenges, believing in us when even we doubted ourselves. This honor today is as much yours as it is ours. We're also grateful to the Arden alumni community, which is spread far and wide across the world for their support and camaraderie. Arden has provided us with a network of like-minded individuals who inspire and uplift one another. Through shared experiences, we've built enduring friendships and found mentors who have guided us along the way. Today, we embody the spirit of unity and collaboration that our alma mater fosters. As we accept this prestigious recognition tonight, we are reminded of the res our responsibility to honor and uphold our school's motto, Deo Duque Quare Optima, with God as guide, we seek the best. We pledge to do our best to ensure Arden's glorious flame bur burns brighter than ever. We pledge to seek the best in all that we do, using the values instilled within us to make a positive impact within our alma mater, our communities, our country, and indeed the world. Thank you again for this prestigious honor. May our shared journey continue to inspire and uplift future generations of Starter Nights. Thank you. Thank 
thank you. Uh, thank you, Alok. Thank you, inductees, for inspiring us. Thank you, all of you. Now, I have to say something to you, please. We're moving along quickly. But Dean Boris reminded me about Ardenites walking down to get to Phoenix, to, to what, Phoenix Avenue? Yeah. Through the little pathway. How many people remember that? Wow. And here is Dr. Reed complaining that they blocked it off. I don't know if he still walks there. <laughs> you know, people try to enter Arden from different points. Miss, Miss Malloy, that's why you block it off down there, right? All right. How many people have already um, subscribed to the, our YouTube channel? Since wonderful. We remember our goal is to get to 1,000. So the moment you get home, call your people and ask them, please, to subscribe. Now, I don't know how many of you know that there's an alumni office on the premises, Arden premises. It was done in 2020 by alumni Dean Burroughs, who is here, as I just told you. And the refurbished alumni office is located beside the PTA breakfast station. So many persons who are at the banquet paid for their ticket at this refurbished office. And we thank you, Dean, for the work done for that project. And the office will share space with the Arden Alumni Foundation. Ladies and gentlemen, we did tackle our list of awardees. We had, and now we're gonna sing the school song. And after that, Monifa Goss will do a scabbery set for us. So will you please stand? And those who can sing, please lead us. I told the story last time of Mr. Mr. Um, Dexter, who looked at poor um, Don McDowell, who. So Mr. Dexter looked at poor Don McDowell, who went to try out for the choir. He was not sure what he was hearing. So he walked up and down the line and everybody was supposed to sing whatever. He says, you boy, don't sing. <laughs> so <laughs> I just let you know that um, we want to sing the school song. Um, Esther, um, if you're coming to lead, please. Well, <laughs> Esther is coming to lead. She was so afraid that I would start. <laughs> All right, Ardenets. I hope everybody remembers the words. Do I have to track them? No, you have them. Wonderful. Good. All right. We don't have any keyboard or anything on this. Even you the rise and join life's glorious fray. With God as guide, he will strength provide to conquer day to day. In hallowed, hallowed field, we'll strive but never yield. We will fight with our might undefeated, be the conflict. Mild or heated, brave and strong, shunning wrong, we will march along to the future's bright array. With loyalty and pride, we'll shield our noble name. Whatever assail, we shall ne'er prevail. We'll conquer just the same. With banner high unfold, a symbol to the world of the zeal that we feel in pursuing. What we're doing, ever viewing the bright crest of the best that will crown our quest and fan our dance.
You see how this um, singer show off? What a wonderful voice. Clap y uh, yourselves. Clap yourselves. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our program tells us that we welcome money for Goff to, Goss to sing for us in cabaret. So, Monifa, are you ready? Yes. This nice little Ardenite, Stardenite, actually. That mic is yours. Ladies and gentlemen, please don't go anywhere. You're going to see more talent from Arden. Mm -hmm. You know, we have coffee, we have Karim, we have Monifa. We have a number of them. And many of you are at the Voices concert where you saw just this array of Arden talent. So please. Sit down and relax a bit. We want you to hear Manifa. Manifa, can I yes. just invite you to go ahead? Yes, Are you can. All right, wonderful. Please welcome a, a round of applause for Manifa and enjoy. Thank you. Hi, everybody. I'll be singing for you.
So now I'll be doing a popular one. It's called Many Rivers to Cross. Do you guys know that one? Yeah. All right, well, enjoy. Well, enjoy by the great Jimmy Cliff, right? Turn it up a bit. A little more. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Many rivers to cross. It's such a dream. 